Hey guys, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe I found online for peach cobbler bars. Let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need three fresh peaches, and these are medium size. You are going to need a box of Krusty's Snickerdoodle cookie mix, and it comes with the packet of mix, and then it also comes with the cinnamon sugar mixture as well. You're going to need the ingredients to prepare those, sugar, those uh, Snickerdoodle cookies. So you're going to need an egg and one stick of unsalted softened butter. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is peel and thinly slice our peaches. And I forgot to mention for this recipe, I'm using white peaches. Uh, use whatever peach, variety of peach you'd prefer, but the white peaches just look better at um, my grocery store. Okay, so I've got my peaches all sliced up. One of them was a really pretty blush color. And this would also be pretty good with apples too. But let's start assembling or making our snickerdoodle cookie mix. Okay, so I've got my egg in a bowl. Now I'm adding in that mix and my stick of butter. And I'm just gonna mix this up really well. Okay, so I've got my cookie dough all mixed up. So now I have an eight by eight baking pan. I am going to take half of that cookie dough and I am going to press it down on the bottom of that uh, baking pan. And now I'm gonna take that cinnamon sugar mixture and I'm just gonna sprinkle a third of it right on top of that cookie dough. And if I didn't mention it, um, I did lightly grease the baking pan. Now I'm going to take those peaches and I'm just going to spread them right on top. So now I'm gonna sprinkle another third of that cinnamon sugar mixture right on top of those peaches. And now I'm gonna take that remaining dough and just kind of uh, take pieces of it and just place it right on top. And once you have all of your cook, um, snickerdoodle dough in place, you're just gonna sprinkle that remaining cinnamon sugar mixture right on top. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I am going to bake this for about half an hour or until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, so I just took this out of the oven. I did have to bake it for about 10 minutes longer than the recipe called for, so for about 40 minutes. So let me try to turn it over on its side a little bit so you all can see what it looks like. So at the 30 minute mark, it was not nice and golden brown like it is right now. Um, so I am going to let this cool and then I will cut a slice so you all can see what it looks like. Okay, so I let the peach cobbler cool and then I cut out a slice as promised. Here it is on the plate and it's actually very good. So the texture of the cookie kind of changes to a cake-like texture. And you can see that little piece right there that's kind of fallen off. It's kind of cake-like. It is cooked all the way through. Those peaches are nice and tender. Now the recipe calls for a powdered sugar glaze, but I really felt like this was gonna be sweet enough and it is, so I didn't even bother making that glaze but I am serving mine with some whipped topping. Ice cream would be delicious too. And I also just drizzled a little bit of caramel topping right on top. And like I said, this would also be delicious with sliced apples as well. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. I have an entire playlist of easy desserts. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.